WCEU Channel 15 now begins another broadcast day. TV 15 is owned and operated by Coastal Educational Broadcasting. Our studio and office is located at 1200 Volusia Avenue, Daytona Beach, Florida. Our tower and transmitter is located seven miles west of Daytona Beach and operates on Channel 15 with 700,000 watts visual and 35,000 watts oral as authorized by the Federal Communications Commission providing educational, informational, and cultural programming to Volusia and Flagler counties. Hello, I'm Don Thigpen, president of Coastal Educational Broadcasters. And with me is Dr. Charles Polk, president of Daytona Beach Community College. We're here today to christen Central Florida's newest public television station, WCEU TV 15. WCEU is a consortium of educational and cultural institutions serving Volusia and Flagler counties. WCEU TV is also an affiliate of Daytona Beach Community College. Welcome, Dr. Polk. Thank you, Don. Today, Dr. Polk, I think it, it's a special day for all of us because it's taken five years for us to uh, get WCEU on the air. How do you feel about this? Well, I think there's a real element of excitement among the members of our college family about the opportunity to get involved with public television. Uh, we've got faculty members who are making a concerted effort to prepare themselves to uh, use the television media as a means of uh, providing instruction. And of course the college is looking generally forward to being able to uh, provide a new dimension uh, in the television market here in the East Central Florida area. I think Dr. Polk, the crux of what WCEU is trying to do is to serve the local needs of the community. Would you comment on that? Well, I think you would you really want to underscore the fact that it is a local effort. Uh, our uh, main theme and, and main emphasis will be uh, providing uh, to our citizenry issues and information of primary local content uh, involving people from the community uh, in the production of information that will go out over the airways. Also, the thrust is really we're serving cultural, educational, and informational types of programs, as you say, from a local nature, which is pretty unique to public broadcasting, but I think it's something that we really want to try to accomplish. Well, I think that uh, everyone needs to find their niche, and I think that for Channel 15, that our niche will be concentration on local efforts. Thank you, Dr. Paul. WCEU is your community station, and we're going to be calling on you for your time, your ideas and support to help us serve the educational needs of the citizens of East Central Florida. And now, WCEU-TV officially begins its inaugural programming day. Thank you very much. I'm sorry that I'm not with you tonight for this special celebration. In the blink of an eye, WCEU is 20 years old. Where has the time gone since we flipped the switch and started on our incredible journey? We've come from a small space in the old library, broadcasting three hours a day, three days a week to this magnificent facility that honors the talent, spirit, and creativity and determination of WCEU's fledging staff. Many of you may not know that WCU had a seven-year gestation period, seven challenging and sometimes tumultuous years, dreaming, planning, and even politicking before WCU was born that night in February 1988. Standing ovations must be given to the bold vision, commitment, and leadership of DBCC's presidents and boards of trustees during those formative years and especially to WCU's dedicated and hard-working staff and volunteers. You were the heart and soul of our mission and our achievements. So today, on our 20th anniversary, we salute the numerous accomplishments made in serving the educational and cultural needs of our Central Florida viewers. The staff used to tell me that all would be better in the new building, and indeed it was. This remarkable facility and the conversion to digital television is just one testament as to how far WCU has come and the role many have played in securing its future. I'm extremely proud that I was part of this. So as they say, here's looking at you, WCU. May you live long and prosper. Happy birthday.
Hello and welcome to this special broadcast celebrating Daytona Beach College's public broadcast station, WCEU-TV's 20th anniversary. I'm Bruce Dunn, General Manager, along with Manya Windsor Gilbert, a longtime friend of the station and host of numerous programs on Channel 15 over the 20 years. Manya, thank you for joining me this evening. Thank you. It's my privilege. You know, this is a special program live for three hours here in the studio as we share 20 years with you, our viewers, members, friends, colleagues, supporters, and casual watchers. But we especially like to say hello to those watching us for the first time on this historical night live via the internet on our website. So tonight, we're global on the World Wide Web with this celebration special, not only to celebrate our anniversary, but to share the importance of public television and its mission of lifelong learning wherever you're watching public broadcasting. So, to our public broadcast brethren around the country, welcome. To our global friends, greetings. And to you in our Florida nine county coverage area, thank you for your support in helping us make it <coughs> to 20 years. Manya, we have a lot to share tonight. We have videotape clips, photos, war stories, special guests, live entertainment, hot studio, because I'm sweating, <laughs> but it's going to be an exciting <laughs> night. We have live testimonials and live phone calls from those that could not be with us tonight, but viewers who want to call in and share a moment and a greeting with us, we'll be showing the number periodically during the night, and um, you'll have an opportunity to call in so that you can speak with us and, and share some thoughts about your experiences with us as well. So much to talk about, so where do we begin, Manya? Well, as our founding father, Dom Thigpen, said earlier, we began broadcasting in 1988. At first, it was only three days a week for three hours, but from that modest beginning and over time, we have grown in experience and quality. Channel 15 has always made it a practice to produce local programs, so why don't we have a look at some of the wonderful broadcasts that so many of you have enjoyed over the last 20 years. Good. Take a look, take a look. Good evening and welcome to A Day in the Life. I'm your host, Earl Kitchings. The circus is great entertainment for children of all ages. Everyone enjoys the clowns, the elephants, and the flying trapeze. But do you know what it takes to put on a circus performance under the big top? Tonight, we're going behind the scenes to meet the people and see what it takes to create the circus magic. So come along with us for A Day in the Life of the Clyde Beatty Cole Brothers Circus. Viewpoint, the WCEU TV 15 public affairs program in which community leaders and residents are encouraged to express viewpoints on issues and matters concerning you and your community. Throughout the 20-year history of the TV station, local programming has been our ongoing Michigan. Uh, what we've always tried to do is take a national program and create a local version of it. Now, the late Bob Ross from The Joy of Painting has been a favorite on public broadcast stations throughout the country. And in our market, The Joy of Painting has produced many local talented artists. Well, 
one such artist came to us and pitched his idea for a show. Monier is 